Yo, what's happening guys? DDBR89 here back with some more Dragon Ball Legends news and tips and information. And today guys, we're going to have a little chat, a discussion, and I want to know your inputs in the comments below. But if you've seen the title of this video, it is when are we going to get a giant category slash tag. Now, if you don't know what I mean by giant categories, it is of course units or characters in the games that are giant and pretty much can't fit on the screen. Now, what we're going to do is look back at um, some of the additions to the game, meaning that they've changed the gameplay slightly, like with certain angles of the screen and whatnot. They've uh, pretty much made it so you can go a bit further back when you're fighting on the game. And I feel they're implementing these small little changes that will possibly make it easier for us to get giant units in. Now, we're going to go through a few of the units that I feel uh, should pretty much join straight away as soon as they decide to bring this category and how they should implement them if it's not a playable unit something to go against so the first things first is guys it's just a little bit of clips i was trying just showing how far back we've been able to get our units uh, of course taking a few hits because i don't really want to see i want to see how far it how long it takes to get close to the unit and how far you're back so as you can see we're quite close to them and we can literally drag ourselves back at least two full pace or two full dashes back now before we used to of course only be able to bring ourselves maybe one dash one and a half dashes back but we've got quite a large landscape so the next thing is i've tried to change units to see a little bit of a size difference so goku's a little bit taller than freezer and then afterwards we're going to go to the third unit which is broly who's pretty much classed as a giant himself realistically but as you can see look at the vast distance we've got on there now before i haven't got unfortunately any angles of how it was before uh, i wish i did i wish i had them i didn't think of this until a couple of days ago that a lot of people were stating that they wish they had giant units in there and i'm just asking the question people when are we going to get giant categories so this is Brody, quite a big unit he takes up quite a lot of space on the screen but once we get those double drag backs see as you can see he covers pretty much most of the screen whenever he's powering up all the angles the camera angles they've made it a little bit wider we've got more of the ground we can see we can see more of the sky as well which is really cool to be honest but like i said he is technically classed as a giant to be honest but he's not as big as some of the units that i feel should be making their way of course to the game now like i said he's taking a beating because i don't really want him to attack until right now so that is that there so as you can see we had a decent drag back on these units so some of the units that i really wanted to see would have been of course the piccolo from the tournament so the first um the first time goku and piccolo jr fought of course and then we've got of course harudiga so that is uh from tapion and all that stuff so they would be great units because they are absolutely giant giant of course Janemba, fat Janemba would be great as well because we already have the slim version or the super Janemba and of course the Uzaru's I put baby there but Uzaru's in general because they're big units now there are other units that are or other characters that have big so we got Mecha uh, we got the Mechas as well which was um, Pilaf's group we had of course the Red Ribbon Army who had of course giant units now if they don't want to bring these units in because they're too big to fight or too big to of course go uh for yourself and it'll take up too much screen the best way they can incorporate this is of course bringing them in to cooperative battles so it's two on one and fighting something like that or a universal feed now they had something like this on of course i believe it was dragon ball z battle of the z uh, playstation game where you could go up against the massive uzaru units i think it was vegeta at one point and uh you'd have to fight him from a distance and of course tack him there also we had it on uh, xenoverse 2 where we had the special missions so they can incorporate something like that where we do group battles and we fight against them if they can get more than two units or two buddies on screen it'd be great to actually fight against big units like that make it a global themed event where like i said the different types of units different stages different giants that we can actually go against but it was only a little 
two pence that I wanted to bring to you lot guys when do you feel we're going to be bringing of course the Giants do you feel they're actually going to bring the Giant category into it it'd be great if we could actually fight with them but fighting against them would be something different as well uh, something good for of course cooperative battles uh, because the units are so large and stuff make them a little bit harder more stamina uh, more reach etc like that but of course uh, with their difficulty them being so large maybe they won't fit on the screen let me know what you think in the comments below guys but there was only my two pence on it and until next time peace Thank you.